Why don't you talk about that? Okay, so it's Jerusalem artichoke. Uh, these are small ones, again, probably because they're in the understory here. Um, okay. But Native, Native Americans used to dig the uh, tubers, and they would um, grind them up into flour. The tubers from this? Yeah. I mean, how many would you have to dig up to get a cup of flour, I'm wondering? Uh, I don't know, because normally this stuff grows in very large clumps. I mean, okay. this, is, this is struggling here. It's not happy here. Oh. Um, but but normally there would be, you know, a huge stretch of it, and they would okay. be over our heads. Wow, that high. Yeah. yeah. And is, how big are the tubers? Uh, like your finger? It or? kind of looks to me, the easiest for you would be they look like um, ginger. Oh, like ginger root. Just about like ginger root, yep. All right, so digging it up wouldn't, you know, I mean, do you bury the ginger root? I don't think it would help it at all. But no. this, you can't, you really can't get rid of this. It's like the, we have horseradish in our garden. It yeah. doesn't matter how much we rototill it or dig it, it still comes back. So it's a lateral system? So, mm, I, I suspect that digging it wouldn't hurt it a bit. Okay. Probably just stir it up even more. And say, so. let's get growing, we're being dug up. Yeah. Okay. But that, so, but that was used to make flour. All right, and it's called, again, what? Jerusalem artichoke. Okay. Claire's going to love this.